Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. So hopefully they at least got some more for you too. <laughs> hopefully. I know. And we was like, either this or we're going to have to go get some. This worked out. They had some more. Hey. Give me a second. I want to I wanna honor Palmer with no ice. And I got the fish and, and fries too. See, I didn't put my thing up there. That bit. Good afternoon, God said. Thank you. She always got some focus on. Thank you. Oh, I got the fish and fries too. Yeah. How much I owe you? Oh. <laughs> I thought you said one fifty. I'm gonna say, ma'am, that ain't enough. <laughs> Thank you. She told me not to move, so I was trying not to move. Mm -hmm. Is that why he looked back at it? <laughs> he looked back like the curry was gonna move. No, it's still there, boo. He looked. He looked back like he didn't know that it was like it was supposed to leave or something. The curry was supposed to get up and go. Anyway, I thought it was. I thought they had a trash out here because that's why. I'm sorry. I know. You know we're gonna come over there and we're gonna have some trash, don't you? You do know we gonna. That's gonna happen. You know that's gonna happen. We we we. Let me go ahead and apologize on behalf of New Free Chapel Missionary Baptist Church with well, a great, amazing, wonderful pastor, is Bishop Dwight Collins. We apologize for what may happen on Sunday evening, Sunday afternoon. So yeah, I'm 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 apologizing right now. <laughs> but how is everybody doing today on this terrific Tuesday afternoon? How y'all doing? We're just now eating lunch. Y'all know how we are. We're just not eating. We I'm gonna show y'all the truck. Show y'all the truck. That's what we eating, but it's not just um Sorry, it's not just um she nasty. She gonna ranch with fish. She nasty. Can I get one more? Yeah. She nasty. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Peanut butter and mayonnaise. Fish and fries. Fish and fries. Yeah. My whole soul don't got disturbed. It's unnatural, isn't it? Yes. She used to put tomatoes on it, too. I don't know. Yes. 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 I'm trying to. <laughs> to each his own. To each his own. But that sounds horrible. That sounds real horrible. What we eating at? You want to eat out here? It's up to you. Whatever you want to do. I don't want to see them. Either. Down here, down here. Well, my okay. phone don't work in the... In the, in the Yeah, on the... In the in our break room, it don't work. Yeah, to make sure you ain't getting bit up by nothing. Listen... 
No apologies needed. We're expecting a, a move of God, and I know Bishop is going to bring it. Come on. Listen, I'm outside. Come on. Come on. Hey, how are you? Wait a minute. We got to have Inspector Gadget over. She got to inspect the chairs before she sit in them. Pray for her. Listen. <laughs> Look at Inspector Gadget over here. <laughs> I had to get your approval first. <laughs> Anyway, you so retarded. Fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. Come on, fix it, Jesus. We're going to try to eat outside today. Let's see what happens. But um, we got some fish. It's, it's good, too. I don't know. wonder she was trying to... What is that? Is some beans? I don't, I don't want no beans, though. I know. That's why she was saying, hold on a minute. Stay right there. I was throwing some in the bag. Uh, uh, Andrew said, "Sit." <laughs> Wait a minute, we might be moving. But let me not unpack too quick. Man, stop lying on me. <laughs> Do you want to go in the inside the cafeteria to you make your you? Phone work? It doesn't. I, I don't want you. I rather that my phone don't work than for you to go through that. Come on, let's go in the inside because you're gonna be itching all the rest of the day. Yeah, and we gotta go to church what, tonight. What Andrew say. Andrew say, "Sit down, me." Uh, <laughs> Go in there and lay down. <laughs> no, no, no. Tell them why. Tell Listen, them okay, why. so last time we were out here trying to eat outside on the little patio, porch, whatever thing they got out yeah. here, it was some bees that was stuck up under the chairs and the table, and they got a hold of her. So that's why she inspected the chairs and tables before yeah, we sat down. Right. But we're going to go ahead and go on the inside because good sister can't take it. That's why I say I break when we don't work. So we can go oh, in, we can right go in this we can go in the cafeteria. Okay. Cool. In the cafe. As long as I ain't at my desk. I'm oh yeah. Oh yeah. We good. So we're gonna go on the inside and, and try to enjoy a little because <laughs> she's sitting over here just flinching already. I said, wait a minute, before I even open up my food. Let me let's go on on. Let me make sure that good sister is all right with it. I can't okay. take her out in public. Right. I can't oh. take you out in public. You do too much. She do absolutely too much. She does it too much. But what y'all been up to today? How is y'all day going? How is everything? I didn't put my title thing up there. I will the next time though. Um. Oh, excuse me. Hello, good, how are you? Thank you. All right. He said, oh, okay, don't be scared. Don't get scared. We're just going to go back in so we won't even have those problems. We were trying to sit out there. Now you got to scan your badge like 50 times coming in. Jesus. Hey, how are you? Good, good. Yeah, that's, what's, that's what happened to her. Hey. Hey, Good. Hey, Miss Courtney. Uh, okay. That's what we want to be saying. I know. It's just the way it is. I'm still making it a little warmer. No, no, that's just you. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, I'm trying to get settled. Y'all uh, come up with something. Oh, we haven't. Um, I'm going to wash my hands. Yeah, you can't eat the barbecue. You can't eat the barbecue. Why? With the runaway sauce? You ain't never had the runaway sauce barbecue? I don't understand what you You don't mean. understand what I'm saying? Let me help you. Let me go ahead and help you with this runaway sauce. When the meat leaves the when the sauce leaves the meat, it don't stay on there, it just leaves. It just run on oh, wow. slide on through on the other side. Anybody got time for that? No one has time for that. <laughs> I'm gonna say you Andrews, hold on. Oh, 
That ain't my ass up under there. Hey, how are you? I'm about to sit down and we gonna talk. Let me sit down first. <laughs> hey, how are you? How y'all doing? Good. Where you sitting at? Like, expect a gadget again. I got to make sure it's okay by you because you know how you are. I have to call you up and expect the gas, you hear me? Girl, it ain't going to be wiped off. That's okay. I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's stuck. Okay. I'm going to be sure. Yeah, be good. Hey, Pink Lips. What's going on, Pink Lips? What's up? Why you looking like Pink Lips? Oh. Oh, I won't be there. She won't. I won't be there. <laughs> I won't be there. He said, "Now nah, you president." No, nah, I didn't. I didn't put that out there either. <laughs> I won't be at that. I won't be doing that. Lord bless his food in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. 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 He said, he said, uh, you have to because it's an honor for you. Oh, my husband will be there to support and all that. That's news to us. How y'all doing? Because it's foolishness talking on the other side of the table. They they already know. <laughs> He's still laughing. Tell him it ain't that fun. I'm about to ask you. I just, Why can't you my tortoise? You don't eat that? I just put it in a thing just in case somebody needs it. Oh yeah, let's keep it for some milk. But how y'all doing? Oh, Andrews, we having um Bishop is uh, speaking tonight or preaching tonight at a revival at um what is his name? Pastor Boyd, Greater Grace Temple Church, two hundred seven Fidelis Avenue. She says it's her mother, like she has an older mother. Yeah, they eat the peanut butter and mayonnaise. That sounds just very disturbing. Very disturbing. Listen, fish. Mm. And fries. I could have some ketchup. You gave me hot sauce, but you didn't give me no ketchup. You gave me some beans, but you didn't give me no ketchup. No ketchup. Oh, man. Yeah, she yeah, she's an older lady. Hey, how are you? God save. How are you? How you been? I could have gave us some I could have gave us some some fries, some ketchup. I just took the violation um, trainer. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We should have gave us some pickles and pepper too. Mm -hmm. All that. All that. But yeah, Andrews, we'll be there tonight oh. at 715 Greater Grace oh, Temple Church, so 207 mm -hmm. Fidelis Avenue. Seven dollars six seven five two four one. Come on, fish and fries, and that's the that's the uh, the barbecue truck they do it. But listen, they fry some good fish though, and that's quite a bit, quite a bit of fish that they get. But um, yeah, we will be there tonight. Um, it opens up their three night revival. Hey, Miss Robinson, how are you guys? Say, I see you be having fun. I so you be having all the fun, but um, you don't eat the tartar sauce. 
Um, but yeah, we'll be there tonight. Um, seven fifteen, starting out there first night um, of their three night summer revival. I didn't bring my iPad down here, so but that's what it is. It'll be tonight. So you coming by? You ain't doing nothing tonight? Come on by. Worship with us. You know how we are. Try to have a good time. We would love to have you as always. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna wait till I get some ketchup for this fish so I can dip in that spicy ketchup. <laughs> Why would you do stuff? I can never get the phone to record you Baby. doing what you're doing. I always miss that fish was hot. <laughs> Listen. Okay. Okay. Listen. Yeah, that's fresh. Yeah, that's fresh. If you you make me scared to bite bonds if you doing that. That's fresh. Do you? <laughs> Lord Jesus. Okay, I message you with the uh, with the information on there so you can um, try to come on by. That's what we'll be at starting it out. And um, we'll be with y'all on Sunday at 3 o'clock for y'all choir annual day. We'll be there. And then, um, you know, we got a lot of other stuff that's coming on. You know, we got a musical coming up on the 28th. The 28th is the musical. Um, and then the 5th is the youth explosion. And then the 12th is the banquet. Uh, so the banquet is $25. Y'all to come on by, be a part of you. Got some questions questions about it or anything we doing. Um, our chairperson for the past and wife appreciation is Sister Tamika that's over here. She's the appreciation person, uh, chairperson. Um, but uh, it was something I wanted to to say. Y'all know y'all always welcome. So all those events besides the one tonight, and um, we have BTU tomorrow night at seven o'clock. New Freeman Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, 2219 Lamont Avenue, Dallas, 675216, where the great, amazing, wonderful pastor is Bishop Dwight Collins. Okay? So, um, come on by to one of them. We would love to have you be a part of it. Worship with us. Um, all those good things. If y'all have any questions you want to ask me, you're welcome to ask me now. We just sitting here just chilling a little bit. I'm gonna wait till I get some ketchup. That's some ketchup in my bag that I did myself to eat my fish. Um, y'all have any questions that you wanted to ask or have anything that you wanted to say or a topic that you want to discuss? You are more than welcome to do that right now. Y'all have to do it little by little. Because the way you. <laughs> no, sorry, no. That was hilarious. That was funny. You know, you're more than welcome to ask me. That's good, though. Go for the one out here. Real good. I said go for the one out here. Also, y'all already know, go and follow our God's Day page. We post all the events and uh, different um, events and different uh, companies, businesses, whatever they got going on or whatever they're selling, we've uh, posted on the God's Day page. So go on there, like that page, share the page, add stuff to the page, all that good stuff. Um, also, go and follow the New Freeman Chapel Missionary Baptist Church page. And the Faith Fellowship of Churches page. Mm. Go and follow all those pages in it. Um, you won't miss out on what's going on with us and a lot of things that are getting ready to come up, getting ready to happen. We want you to be a part of it. So go and like those pages so you won't miss out. And it's, part, it's most of the stuff that's on the God's Day page. You can go and see if you um, 
any of those things, those services that you could use. Um, different people doing different things, boutiques, um, doing hair, doing um, it's different church services. Um, a lot of things that are that is that's coming up or going on. The only thing I don't share is any parties or clubs or strip stuff. I would not share that information. Everything else I will share. So if you send it to me, make sure it's public so I can share it, and put it out there um, to help support you and what you whatever your uh, business or whatever you need support from. If I can't be there financially or be there physically, the least amount I can do is to be there by supporting you, by sharing your information. Um, I will be teaching Bible study and my lesson will be about why we need the preacher. Well, come on in. Hey, Pastor Redmond, how are you? Well, come on in. Romans 10. Why we need the preacher. So why do we need the preacher, uh, Andrews? Why do we need him? Because you don't brought it. Just give us a little bit. You ain't got to give us the whole the whole thing. Just some some basic stuff. Why we need the preacher. Hear your your views or whatever from that. Why we need the preacher. And have y'all y'all see I posted my picture of me smiling today? I need y'all to um, post a picture of you smiling today. Tag me in it. Let's share this love of, of smiles and happiness. Even though you might not be feeling your best or everything is not going right according to the way you want it to. But the least you could do is share that beautiful smile. Share your smile with us. And um, let us pass that love. It should be contagious anyway. That love should be contagious. So let's, let's post our beautiful smile. And um, share it with other people. Tag me in it so I can share it. People say, oh, look at those smiles. Everybody's just smiling. And even though you might be hurt on the inside, it's okay. As a whole, though, as a whole, you could be better. We can all be better. But it's, it should be contagious, right? Your smile should be contagious, right? She said, mm-hmm. Your smile should be contagious. Mm-hmm. Where your smile at? Trying to get my tongue <laughs> <laughs> oh, cause that was funny, girl. That fish was hot to you. You was. Oh. <laughs> hey, Miss Connie, how are you guys say? Yes, your love should be should be uh, Your smile should be contagious. Just share that your love too should be contagious that so uh, we should do things that are contagious which is smiling and make somebody else smile like oh they have a beautiful smile too let me post my picture of me smiling it should be contagious hey Shanita hi cousin how are you guys say um because the because the God sent us to preach you so that the lost souls can come to Christ your thoughts that's true that's true. You have to have a leader. You have to have somebody to, because if everybody, um, if you don't have a leader, the, the, everybody would just run wild. Everybody would just do their, uh, I feel like I'm far away. I feel like I was far away. <laughs> I'm trying not to listen to that, but every time you talk about you burning your bath, I get, I get off of that. Guys, say, how are you? But, um, yeah, you need a leader. You need someone to kind of keep everything in line. Everybody want to either be the leader or nobody don't want the leader. Nobody wants to follow what their leader what their leader is, what their uh, follow what their leader is doing. Everybody wants to either become the leader or they just don't want to do anything at all. So you do need some you do need leadership so or someone to lead so that you can have um, everybody can be on the same page. It helps keep things in order. Um, so yeah, the pastor is there to to lead you, and he God sent him there anyway. So he's there to lead you. I think that's a good thing. Uh, uh, what you say your topic was again? I'll be teaching Bible study. My lesson will be why we need the preacher. Why we we because we do. We absolutely do have to have the preacher anyway. He keeps everything in line. He keeps us on um, teaching us the, the right and wrong thing to do. Um, again, a lot of people like to take it and just not follow what the pastor or the preacher is, is doing, um, supposed to be doing. But, hold on. I ain't bring myself a stick, so it's holding it up. <laughs> but yeah, you have to have you have to have them to lead. 
and to, to lead his flock. You have to have that. And if you don't, everybody be running haywire, everybody be doing their own thing. You need somebody then. And you can't have no preacher or a pastor. Let me say pastor. You can't have no pastor that is uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. That's right. And they have to preach the word of God. They have to. And the, no sugar coating. You, you have to preach the word of God, and um, and that way you can help. Um, um, like I, I, I just look at it as trying to keep everybody on the same, on the, um, on the same path. Everybody's not walking around with their head like a chicken with their head cut off. Everybody is is being. Of course, you're gonna have your ones that don't want to don't want to follow what the 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 um, the follow the. You you supposed to follow the, the pastor or whatever, and if you don't want want to do that, you're gonna have people that stray away and not want to listen. You're not gonna have 100 percent all the time, but in the in in the event that that does, you just don't get away from that. You still try to draw to those that are are still lost or still not understanding or uh, what they're supposed to be, what their goal is as far as listening to their pastor or their uh, the preach. <laughs> I'm not done. I'm just gonna put that in my. So. I'm not gonna get involved in that. But you're right. I said that yesterday. I'm not gonna get involved in that. But it, it, we was just talking about leadership. You want somebody to follow you or respect you in your role as a leader, but you have to put that out out there too. Now, if you want to have a conversation about something that I'm doing wrong, pull me to the side. Or pull, all these, it's seven million conference rooms in here. Pull me into a conference room and have a conversation with me. But talking about it on the floor and cussing and stuff. Oh, you're not talking to me. I ain't heard my name. You're not talking to me. Because you can't lead by example. Well, that was thrown in my face to lead by example. No, but you. I said lead by example. That, that wasn't. So that's, oh, so that's the example I'm getting. I said, so that's what I'm supposed to do. That's the example that I'm getting. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. We ain't talking about that, but we are. Okay. Oh, we not, we're not talking about the issue that I have with you. We're just talking about the issue that you have with me. Right. But you my leader. Lead by example. Okay. Lead by words, example. Listen to what I got to say. You. Just do what I say. Don't do what it. Don't, 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 don't do what I say, but do what I say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do what I tell you. Do. Wait, say that again. You do as I you do as I say, now that as I do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do as I say. Now. Yeah. Do as I do as I say, not as I do. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. that's right. You're right. But there's a way that you, as a leader, Don't you do have what to. I do, do as I say. Yeah. Because <laughs> all that I that was. Yeah, because you had so many people was sitting there. It, it, but see, you see how he said it. He said it while it wasn't many people there, okay. and pretty much everybody's kind of like, oh, "Okay, we know who you are. It's no big deal." But at the same time, if I felt like you some type of way about it, I could have took. Yeah, I could have went down there and told the people if I was that person. But as a leader, okay, excuse me, gain that respect. I get that. Hey, how are you? God's sake. Yeah, don't do that. Because that, that, gain that respect. And then, and then you go say, my man don't even have that. So what you all in the You know, I'll say that in a heartbeat. I don't care whether you know I'm doing it. Come on, come on. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. By leaders, and, and everybody is not a leader. Everybody shouldn't be in leadership positions. And my daddy is six feet on the ground. He better not come back. Then, son, I'm watching the learning from. You got dog. <laughs>
<laughs> Listen, she went to a whole nother field. But that okay. is true, though. As a leader, though, as a leader, you, if in order to get respect, you're going to have to give it to. You can't talk to people in the kind of way and expect for people to, to pay attention to what you just said. Don't cuss. Don't holler. Don't talk crazy to nobody. People will respect you. But you have to put that out there as well. Don't just do people like that and expect for them to, oh, because I'm your boss, oh, because I'm your manager. You got to listen to me and this is the way it got to go. No. Let's, let, let's start over. Let's start over. You, I don't mind you telling, correcting me on what I've done wrong, but there's a way you can tell me. Don't tell me like that. Don't tell me like that. I believe that that's the word that saved us. There are so many preachers that were sent and there are some that just went without being called. And they want to know that they're not being affected in their ministry. You, you know what? What I just said? What I just read? Read that again. I believe that it's the word that saved us. There are so many preachers that were sent. And there are some that just went without being called. And they want to know that they're not being affected in their ministry. Listen, listen, let me say this. <laughs> well, you do have some that feel like uh, monkey see, monkey do. That they want to be a preacher because they see other people have been a preacher. Or people have told them, you should be preaching. But they don't have that calling on them. The God, God didn't call them to, to do it. They just decided that they when they woke up in the morning... They woke up in the morning. He, it's Andrew saying that his message, he's doing Bible study. And his lesson would be why we, his message said, why we need the preacher, Romans 10. Why we need the preacher. The question was why we need the preacher. Romans 10. Romans 10. No, why we need the preacher. Mm-hmm. So he said, how can a lost soul be saved if there is no gospel being preached? <laughs> trying to read. <laughs> Listen, as I was saying over here. I don't know what's going on on the other end of this table. I don't know what's, what's happening right now. Okay, I'm done. This one here is crazy. Um, <laughs> Romans 10, verses 14 and 15. Y'all read that in your spare time. Read that in your spare time. We do need the preacher, though. We we do need we need leadership. We need pastor. We need people to be... Um, to be on the to be real about it like as I, as I was saying this morning we got a lot of people that's faking it just to get by or to get acknowledgement or just to be um they not they not they not serving God for real they're not giving him their all in all for real so you have a lot of people that's out here just I my my, my granddaddy my grandma told me to be a preacher my pastor told me everybody's telling me to be a preacher but what did God tell you to be because um, everybody that calling is not for everybody and everybody is not meant to be a pastor Preaching and pastoring is the difference. Everybody is not meant to be pastoring. You got to have a tough skin. I don't, I don't mean to smack my tongue, to pop my tongue like that, but listen, you got to have tough skin to be a pastor. It's not easy, it's you, and, and you got to be able to take the good with the bad because that's not a that's not an easy task or easy job. Something that just come out and wake up in the morning, I'm be, I'm gonna be a pastor tomorrow. No, you, there's a lot of people that you have to 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 um, deal with with those good and bad attitudes, all those different. You got 700 people. If you got 700 people that will, uh, that have all different 700 dis different personalities, you have to learn how to deal with those things. Everybody you can't deal with, with different, I mean, on the same page. You have to learn how to deal with all those different attitudes. It's just like your children. You know your kids, what they're capable of doing and what they got going on. You, you know what they are. So you have to deal with them on that level of them. You can't treat everybody like that. You treat them the same as far as good. But what I'm saying is sometimes you have to, you can just say stuff to people and people accept it 
if you say they say talk about them in public, they fine with it. Some people you just can't do that with. You got to grab them by the hand and say, come here, let me talk to you. Let me let me hold your hand. Let me say these things to you because that's the way some people are. That's why I say everybody's not meant for that. And if you're one of the people that's timid, you can't be no past if you're going to be timid. You can't be you can't be scared to, to speak up to say something to to, to um, fix situations to um, help somebody um, spiritually. If you are not that person that's to, to speak up, that's probably not something you need. Hey, lady, how are you? God say, how you been? Um, that's probably not for you. Everybody is not meant to be a pastor or to be in leadership role. Sometimes you have, and if you been there and it didn't work out, sometimes you have to sit down and look look over some things. You got to look back and see see where you where made your mistakes at and um, see how you can fix it to become that something that the Lord has put on you. But he got to take you through some stuff that you're going to go through. But um, some things we just don't understand. And we, we everybody wants to be, everybody want to run everything. Sometimes sit down and listen. Hush and listen. I think that was uh, Evangelist Mary Pearson said that one day. She said, shut up and listen. It's productive preaching, effective preaching. What do you mean by productive preaching? Do you mean um, knowing how to preach? Um, preaching a lot? What do you mean by productive? When you say productive preaching? Because they... To me, I'm looking at it, so far I'm looking at it two different ways when you're saying productive preaching. Um, Is the 11 a pro max? Oh, I forgot what they call I think it is. I want to say it is. They nice though. They got all them different colors. They nice. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, what do you mean by productive preaching? Because... Um, to me, I'm thinking, is, is it mean it's a lot or you know how to preach? Because everybody, you know, these kids know. I told you this morning, them kids will mock you. They see you doing something. But somebody sat next to us with some food that was, oh my gosh, hurt my stomach just too fast. Hey, husband. Hey, how are you? Good. Hey, husband. How are you? There go my husband. Um, uh, Y'all speak to my husband, Bishop Collins. Uh, please. Sorry. Um, You see what he posted? Husband, can you? He said it's productive preaching, effective preaching. Knowing how to dis dissect the, oh. Dissecting the text. How to explain the text. Okay. Hey, how are y'all? I don't know what that smell was. Oh my gosh. Explain what y'all talking about. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. Did y'all, uh, I don't know if my husband's still on here. Did he see what you put on here? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You <laughs>
Oh, okay. Uh huh. I need you to explain what that was. I don't know what that was. Was that homegirl that sent next to us? It was one of the two, but that stink. That stuff stank. Over there, <laughs> that was like you were trying to kill me just then. I smell like, like somebody rock. Oh. <laughs> Girl, I had to go away. Nothing I was about to say was no guy. Let's just say that. It's like. <gasps> okay. I'm going to try. Now, what is you got to eat? Oh, that's what it that was. I think it was. Oh, you hugged her? She got up the one Oh, she did? Mm -hmm. I didn't see her. But I didn't see her hug. Y'all went on a rant because I was getting sick. Girl. <laughs> hey, it's the first night when they went to the second And you looked at me, you said, you, did this. You, say, you say, you don't smell that? I'm like, <laughs> Funny. <laughs> that was funny right there. <laughs> okay. All right. <sighs> okay. So I think that's productive. But it's more to it than that, to me. I think that is productive. Um, because you do know how you, I don't care if you're preaching or pastor, you know, you're just giving, giving the words of whatever, you still need to know what you're talking about. So be, being able to dissect what you're talking about, that's that. I think that's important. I think that's productive. Because um, you, you, you do need to know if you're bringing up a scripture you need to know how to explain what you're talking about uh, explain what you're talking about uh, when you're presenting that if you're saying I'm talking about Psalms 100 you know and you go into you have to know exactly what you're talking about uh, and be able to dissect so people can understand it so because I know everybody you know it's different versions hi my beautiful sister how are you guys saying how are you? You do need to know how to um, dissect with your the text that you bring, the scripture that you bring. So I feel like that is productive. I thought my husband was gonna answer, but he didn't get on here and he didn't say anything. <laughs> but yes, you do need to know how to dissect that scripture and to uh, to to be able to explain. Like, because you want somebody to, you want everybody to be on the same page as you, to be on the same lines of what you're talking about, to to be able to follow what you're saying. And if you don't know, how they supposed to know? That's the way I see it. So yes, I think that is very very important to um, to be able to dissect it. I'm so sick of all these classes, things they got, that, all this training they got on here. They're doing this for two days. So, yes, I believe that that, that it is. Um, <clears throat> I believe that that is. Um, so, they didn't give y'all no pickles and, and peppers for y'all? Oh, you have to ask for it. Oh, I didn't know. I thought it automatically come in the box. Okay. Now I know. I was asked for Wow. Oh, yes. Remember we talked about that the last time? Okay. Oh, okay. It's not like when you go to like... Oh, yeah. You go to the hood or something. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, sister Molly. 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 Oh yeah, they can have that. I gave mine to her. I don't eat that. I don't eat that. What is what is tartar sauce? Oh no, I'm not eating that. I don't eat tartar sauce. <laughs> ranch? You say ranch? Oh no, ma'am, I don't eat ranch. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> they people I work with are crazy. No. That's not why. No, I don't like it. It's just on milk for me. And I'm not a milk person. So. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's cute. I like that. Yeah, I like that. I know that's right. Them little holes when you walking across there. Yeah. Oh, you because you park in the garage. Oh yeah. Where's my girls? I got her 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 ticket. I got in my purse. I got you. Girl, you crazy. You are crazy. Huh. That's not the case. It's because it tastes like milk to me, and I don't like that. <laughs> You thought that was the reason why? No. No. It's for that reason? Oh my. Girl, you are crazy. Yeah, and see, I heard like um, Catfish Floyd makes great tartar sauce. See, I heard that too. Look how she. She said, What? Hey, Miss Marsha. How are you? I'm trying to do this. But I'm going to have to get out for her. Check it out. <laughs> Did you get through all of your training? Not too yeah, I'm, this is my last. I got. I I'm gonna be done, done in a second. Finish, 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 finish. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, you're talking about those service recons? Yeah. 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 I'm. I'm. I just got this last little bit. The harassment and the conclusion. First yeah, because you have to put those five in order. If you did those questions, where you have to put five of them yeah, in order. You, you ain't got them yet. Oh, I did all in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm on the model. I'm on the third, the end of the third one, and that's it. Oh, oh no, no, no. I, the, I'm done with that one. I'm on the um, behavior one. Oh, yeah, that's the one I'm on. Yeah, I did all them. Them hard ones first. Got them on out the way. <laughs> You'll be done tomorrow. <laughs> Have a good one. You too. <laughs> she said, peace out, child. Well, I'm eating some fish. I'm good. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for the moon. Mm-mm. He don't bake, though. He doesn't bake if he won't. All right, be safe. Be careful. Get you some rest now. <laughs> so, what I'm getting out of the text that I'm teaching from is the preacher is sent by God to bring the word of God so the people can hear from god they will believe in god and they can all call they can call on god that's true that's good that's real good romans 10 14 and 15 right that's real good Oh, okay. 
I'm gonna get out of here because I don't know how to. You say what? You gonna get in your punching bag? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because um, I will say something like Zumba is really good, but I would say keep some water by you. Really? Yeah, but say so you have to be consistent with it and stay hydrated. I did it one day by myself at home, girl. I thought I was going to do a whole routine. <laughs> Wait a minute. And you know, and you know how he is. You know how he is. He don't think he is. I know. Come on, come on. Huh? I heard about that. Say I need to be like. Mr. Rogers' neighborhood kind of stuff. I've seen before he let his daughter see this. I had a little bit there. Oh, it's intense. It's intense. Yeah. Girl, I tried that Tabo and I tried Zoe. And Zoe was fun because the music and mm -hmm. it kind of gets you. And you just like, oh, okay. And you try to get so you laugh because you But once I got the hand jacket, I was like, oh, I'm involved. And I was like, that's cool. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's when I realized I didn't have it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what you say? I'm not 15 no more. I don't have none of that no more. It's funny because when I watch our dance for the kids, they say, Can you dance like that? Because we have what the garage, we had like basic stuff. That is funny. That is funny. Girl, they do. They have some crazy stuff. Because we're not going to go walking today. Okay. Okay. Her dog? She got dogs. She got two dogs. And they lay there. For real? Because everybody out there be having a dog. Wow. I started talking to this one guy. That's good. And I said, so what happened to you? And then I started walking towards him. And I said, hey, I'm not a dog friend. We can't mess with him. Yeah. Australian chip. See that there? It's only ironic because just that day, I was a little bit of 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 a Really? Oh, no. To me, the bigger the dog is, the more. Well, I guess it's 
Oh no. With them big old paws? Oh you no. Know. I'm a come back and just tell you. Remember, God loves you. I love you. There's nothing you can do about it. I'll talk to y'all later.